so how do we understand a zero dimensional figure <laughs> you know so when we look at a first dimensional figure well we can say okay there's length but just length alone can't capture what a thing is it just it just it just you know it captures it captures that there's an extension and therefore a continuity of the same thing but it's more discernible obviously than the zero dimension but then when we talk about second dimension now we're saying well there's a distinction now in width of, of the length and now there's two lengths let's say connected by the quality of each other which is their length so length is connected by length <laughs> let's see um, now form some kind of figure when we say figure well we're figuring it out oh my god we just figured it out it's a figure it's the first instance of something being figured out <laughs> if you want to put it in a very uh, primordial idiomatic definition so the idiomatic definition is that well a figure is the first instance of recognizing some form some some kind of shape and then the three-dimensional well now it becomes an interaction with that shape it's no longer just you know having a recognition of it but rather an interaction with it there is after all depth and you are in that figure or you disclose that figure as something in which you can interact with and operate within but when it comes to a zero point dimension the question becomes how does that exist because we know it exists well it's a point a point is zero dimensional because it's not going up down it's not extended but it exists it has no dimensions but it exists and so when we look at an object and we say well okay I'm gonna try to figure out its dimension okay so okay it's 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 it has length I mean it's I can measure the distance from the two extreme points that constitute the diameter of its surface that that there is a that it has a surface area and that surface area ultimately is defined by the form of it and the form of it is what measures the two end extreme points that make up its uh, its shape ultimately and its shape is determined by the level of magnitude of dimension you're perceiving it so if it's two-dimensional well it could be a square because you're actually seeing you know two lines intersected two parallel lines intersected intersected by two other parallel lines uh, if it's a triangle then it's just three angles circle is just one circumference and so okay and if it's three-dimensional well then it has depth towards the observer you know it has it has you know um, thickness let's say <laughs> density and mass and and volume but when it's zero dimensional what is the zero dimensional aspect of that object that you're perceiving you see well, you wouldn't know because then it would be just a, a first second or third or a higher dimensional definition but it still exists right it has to be a zero dimensional in order to be a one dimensional so the existence of a zero dimensional figure is simply the discrete existence of the object do, 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 do you not understand in order for an object to be measured into higher dimensional 
uh, into higher dimensions, like first, second, third, it has to exist as what it is. It has to exist as a discrete point. <laughs> and so, what a zero point, what a zero dimension ultimately is, and why we say zero point dimension, is because it is simply the world as discrete points. It's just one thing right beside another as different things that's what it signifies and so the question is well why are all these different things existing why there's so many different objects you know we take that for granted we take the existence of things differently from each other or each thing separate from each other for granted you know why are there like 10 different leaves on a tree you know, or whatever, 100 different leaves on a tree? How is this the case? This is the definition of multitude or multiplicity. The many in the world, ironically. The zero dimension explains the many in the world. Whereas the other dimensions are all measures of the one. <laughs> you know, the first, second and third dimensions are all measures of a particular single object whereas the zero dimension ultimately is the quality of all these single objects coexisting with each other as discrete points.